my name is Gareth P. Jones. I am a children's author and today I'm going to tell you about a series that I wrote for a publisher called Stripes uh, Little Tiger. Uh, it's not called Little Tiger, it's about pets fighting aliens. Uh, but first of all, I'll tell you about the series I wrote first. That was called Ninja Meerkats. There's also a series called Steampunk Pirates. But this is a series called Pet Defenders. They're written by me and illustrated by Steve May. This is Steve. Hi, my name's Steve May. I'm an illustrator. I'm responsible for all the pictures in the Pet Defender series. So, if you don't like pictures of um, living cheese, um, alien beards and talking animals, then um, I'm very sorry. I'm not sorry at all. And the books are called Attack of the Alien Dung, Beards from Outer Space. <laughs> Escape from Planet Bogey. Revenge of the Atomic Burps. Cheese from Dimension Pong. An Invasion of the Giant Nit. It stars a dog called Biscuit. <coughs> and a cat called Mitty. <coughs> and a lab mouse called Example One. And I really love this series, but in all honesty, they, they were quite hard to write. I find them quite tricky. Um, I, I struggle enormously with sort of picturing what things look like. And so when I was writing about pirates it was kind of it's kind of easy because you can you know it's boats and it's a, it's a of a treasure it's all sort of you know there's a sort of set texture to a pirate story but with with pets and aliens or well, one pets don't have you know opposable thumbs and they can't they, it's they have their tails have to do a lot of work um uh, you know in my stories uh, and uh, the other problem is that it, aliens who knows what aliens look like i mean uh, you know an alien could look like you know anything <laughs> And the brilliant thing about working with Steve is that whenever I had a problem of visualising what it might look like, uh, I could just ask him for help. Uh, so when I was writing this book, Escape from Planet Bogey, uh, I had a geese character called Snot Snatchers who were going to sneeze on, on people and then their snot was going to sort of transport people to the other side of the, of the galaxy. It all made sense in my head at the time. Um, but I didn't know what they looked like. Uh, and I thought, well, I could sort of describe them and get, you know, you know, 16 eyes and, whatever, um, and just get Steve to draw it. Or I could just ask him what they look like. So I just wrote to Steve a little message on Twitter saying, uh, Steve, what do Snot Snatchers look like? You know, no real explanation. Uh, and he drew, he drew this. <coughs> and I think we both had a lot of fun with this book, Beards from Outer Space. <laughs> Uh, in which beards and moustaches uh, turn out to be creatures that are living on people's faces and I've taken them over. <laughs> and when he first came on board as an illustrator, uh, he drew a very early sketch. And I don't think I've ever told this Steve this, uh, but I, 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 I printed that out and then drew some characteristics. I was trying to work out what these characters are like. Uh, so I, uh, I, I, I sort of, that's it, I think... I think that's one of the first sketches you did of Biscuit and Mitzi the Cat. Uh, and I found it really useful because it helped me sort of also, you know, it's really nice, uh, you know, giving somebody, you know, the challenge of, of sort of bringing uh, various different types of cheese to life. And I, uh, I think, I think Steve enjoyed that challenge, didn't you, Steve? He's just come to blow you to pieces, then serve your bitch with cheeses as a late night fondue snack. This one, uh, we, uh, I came up with the title before I wrote the story, Invasion of the Giant Nits. And we agreed on that, and we agreed that that's what it was going to be. And then uh, the um, uh, Steve got brought on to draw the picture for the cover, uh, and initially he drew pictures of these giant knits wearing fancy ladies' clothing. Um, uh, and and uh, what many people would do is uh, say, you know, don't, don't do that because that uh, I, I don't know what that story is. Uh, what I did, I just went with it. And uh, so even though they're not now on the cover, they do appear in the book with a few feather bowers and a nice hat. All of my books have theme tunes. This one goes a bit like this. Please calm down, don't panic or be manic when I tell you that this planet is currently under attack. Look at you in your natural habitat, the dogs in the basket, the huts are where the rabbits at. Look at you sitting there all oblivious, you don't seem to care about the problems of the universe. You get the idea. So I'm really pleased that they've got Steve's name on the front cover of the book as the illustrator because uh, although I wrote the stories, uh, I mean, he, he brought those stories to life with his amazing pictures. Thanks, Steve. Goodbye.
Go Pet Defenders. Remember, this illustrator will self-destruct in 15 seconds. Lifting it to befriend it.